everybody love peace and happiness just showing you my maintenance on how I wash my topper this is human hair um, this is the shampoo and conditioner I'm not paid or I'm not affiliated with theory at all uh, this is just what I use uh, this conditioner the shampoo and conditioner is awesome it's like an argan argan oil and it works fabulous uh, really moisturizes and love this stuff this is the Chi Silk Fusion or Silk Infusion. Um, this I like to put on when my hair is wet, uh, towel dried preferred. And basically I'm just gonna show you everything else. Cool makeup bag with some cool glasses. <laughs> and then we have, of course, the towel you need. I use a small one because you really don't wanna twist and have it dry that way. It's gonna be dried naturally and it's a microfiber towel. And let's get this going. Doesn't look too bad actually for a few days, you know, worth of shampoo or conditioner, I should say, shampoo and conditioner, and then some hair products, uh, weighing it down. It really held up pretty well. Just gonna put a little bit of shampoo in the bottom of the sink. I'm using lukewarm water. I don't prefer hot water. They usually tell you not to. I don't put that on my real hair, so I try, well, I, I try not to anyway. But here I'm just kind of getting the water soapy and then I'm going to go ahead and put some more shampoo obviously in, shampoo the cap real well, and the rest of it. So now I rinsed all that out as well as I could, getting every all that shampoo out. And then from there, I usually just like to squeeze it, get all the excess water as much as I can out because the conditioner will be able to hold better. I think it does because your hair is a little bit <clears throat> more porous when it's warmer like that. And I apply the conditioner right away. I start usually at the ends where you need it most. And then I just work my way up. So I'll start with a little bit first. It goes a long way. And um, just basically work my way up right there. And at this point, what I normally do is just, so I don't forget, you don't have to, but I set a timer since I don't want this to be wet in the morning when I go to work. Um, so I will set it at five minutes and when it goes off, is when I am going to rinse. Kind of sped it up a little bit here for you. So I made, made sure obviously the water, it's basically how you would care for your own hair. Um, I take a little special care on this though because I want it to last a long time. So I'm gentle right around where the combs are. We're rinsing this conditioner out. And from there, as soon as I rinse all that out, Look how nice that looks though. That's amazing. I love that. Um, the hair wash as well. It doesn't really even tangle. I mean, it's it's normal for something, you know, a little bit. But And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it in this towel. I usually will lay it in there for 10 minutes maybe. After I uh, try to softly wring it with my hands. You don't want to really squeeze. I'm probably going to, I think I'm going to show you here. Just kind of want to tap it a little bit. Try to want to avoid, you know, anything excess squeezing. It's going to cause more knots. It's not good for the hair and it loosens up the structure, I think, of the, uh, the snaparettes, the pressure sensitive things. So now it, I sped that up again. It's 10 minutes past. Now I'm going to apply the Chi again while my hair is wet, the Silk Fusion. And I am going to just throw that in. Try to not, a little goes a long way with this stuff. I would say probably no more than like a dime size. And work from there. If you feel you need a little more, use it. I wouldn't go too much because it ten, it does get greasy. I mean, it's normal, but it, it washes excellent. I mean, it's a great piece and I try to let it air dry. So that's why I do it at night and then it will dry wavy, but then you have the body to work with.